Hey there, uh, my previous video on the experimental section got a lot of views. It was titled how to figure out the experimental section. And I think that maybe some people thought that I was going to give away some secret for how you can figure out the experimental section on test day, which you really can't. So I retitled that video to say after the test in parentheses to try and clear that up. But I thought maybe I would take a moment to think about how could you figure out the LSAT experimental section on test day. In the past, you could be certain, you could trust that the experimental section would always be one of the first three out of your five on LSAT test day. But at least a few years back now, LSAC changed that policy so that the experimental could be any one of the five sections. So it could be any of logic games, logical reasoning, or reading comprehension. So the question remains, of course, could you figure it out during the LSAT and then be able to put your head down and rest and do nothing for 35 minutes? That would be awesome if you could, but the truth is you can't. Experimental sections might seem a little bit different in certain small nuanced ways because LSAC is, of course, experimenting. They're testing things out. But on the test itself, when you're under that severe time constraint and you're probably taking the LSAT because you want to go to law school, so this matters for you, do you really want to take the risk of blowing it all on the hopes that you'll get lucky and guess correctly? The LSAT has included a lot of curveball logic games in recent years. They've also used some unfamiliar question stems for familiar question types. So LSAC is constantly innovating. The fact that something might seem new or different in some way is no guarantee for you that it's the experimental section. Of course, if you notice that you have two games or two reading comp, one of those will be the experimental, but that doesn't mean that you'll be able to figure out which one, especially in the heat of the moment, in the stress of it being the real thing. So. My advice to you is to complete all five sections as if they're scored, as if they count. The one section where you can relax a bit is the writing sample. I would still give your full effort on it. I wouldn't draw pictures on it or something. I would take it seriously and answer the question. But the writing sample, on the other hand, is something where you don't really have to produce Shakespeare or your best writing ever. You can save that for your personal statement. But experimental sections are only to be figured out afterwards don't waste time during the exam trying to figure it out for yourself. You're taking a big gamble if you do. Anyway, that's all I have to say on that. So all the best to you with the LSAT and thanks for watching.